Hi, this is Kate from Minute Earth. There are so many superheroes out there, and their diverse assortment of superpowers is key to their collective success. Captain America, the Hulk, and Scarlet Witch each do awesome stuff on their own, but they can only beat the biggest, baddest villains by banding together. And while there's a lot from the comic universes that definitely isn't true in our own, there is a legit scientific parallel to the superhero squad phenomenon. Our planet's carbon sequestration squad. Cringy? Maybe. But hear me out. This squad is fronted, of course, by trees, which suck millions of tons of planet-warming carbon out of the air each year and store it in their carbon-rich trunks, leaves, and roots. Trees alone store more than three quarters of the carbon stored, or sequestered, in all living things. And just like superheroes have different superpowers, tree species have different strategies to grow big and pack away lots of carbon. Some invest in deep roots, some sprout big solar panel-like leaves, some grow super fast to fill gaps in the canopy. And just like superheroes, trees perform better when they're working in league with each other. In a stand of just one species, everyone uses the same strategy, which means they quickly start interfering with each other, and nobody grows very big very fast. As a result, they can't sequester much carbon. It's kind of like how a New York City filled with tons of identical Spider-Men would probably be not so super. One filled with different superheroes, however, is marvelous. Similarly, in a forest with lots of different tree species, each can use a different resource-grabbing strategy. As a result, they collectively use more of the available resources, and everyone grows bigger, better, faster, stronger, and can lock away more carbon. A diverse forest can sequester twice as much carbon, or more, as a single species stand. But the very best squads have sidekicks, too. Okoye and Bucky Barnes may not be the stars of the show, but they play key roles in defeating supervillains. Similarly, while lots of non-tree species don't store much carbon on their own, they can have outsized effects on their ecosystem's total haul. Fungi help plants absorb extra resources. Animals move seeds and nutrients around. And, of course, when any member of the squad falls, microbes decompose it into rich soil. We're still working to measure the impacts of these sidekicks and how they differ across ecosystems, but we know they can have big effects. One study found that doubling the number of mammal species in a tropical forest can more than double the amount of carbon stored in its trees. Speaking of mammals, humans can supercharge sequestration too. Indigenous people have long managed forests with small controlled burns, which protect against much larger fires and can increase both biodiversity and overall productivity. And some forest ecologists even think that, just like species can work together to help an ecosystem work smoothly and store lots of carbon, entire ecosystems, from grasslands to tundra to oceans, may work together to boost productivity across entire regions, enabling our planet to sequester carbon over giant scales. And we really do need to think on a giant scale because it's going to take every black panther, wolverine, nightcrawler, falcon, mantis, wasp, and more to successfully fend off our planet's real-life supervillain. We made this video with support from the Crowther Lab at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, which focuses on global ecology and biodiversity loss. The Crowther Lab founded Restore, an open data platform rooted in science that enables everyone everywhere to get involved with ecosystem restoration. All of us have an impact on the land, whether we're farmers or windowsill gardeners, run community forestry projects, or manage pension funds with global investments. And the Crowther Lab believes that with access to the right tools, we can all contribute to the sustainable use of the land we depend on. To learn more about your land footprint and get involved with the diverse community of people restoring Earth's ecosystems, check out restore.eco.